Hey, what's up? This is Chad from Mudvane. We are coming down to Australia in February, so get there. Let's get nuts. Nuts sounds good, Chad. Thanks for joining us today, brother. Absolutely, man. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So, as you say, Mudvayne will return to Australia in February 2024 for a run of shows starting in Brisbane on Feb, Feb, sorry, on February the 14th before hitting Sydney, Melbourne, and Adelaide and finishing in Perth on February the 21st. So, first of all, brother, on behalf of all Australian music lovers, let me start by saying welcome back. We've missed you. Oh, I know. It's been almost two decades, so <laughs> I guess it's about time. <laughs> and to top it all off, man, you're going to be bringing Coal Chamber as special guest. So I know you guys have been touring a bit overseas together, but what, what's the appeal of, te- of touring with them? They're, they're, I mean, I, I go way back with Miguel and Mikey. Like, we go back a long way, and, you know, but every the, those guys are just rad. And, I mean, we just... We just did it here this past summer with them, and uh, a couple weeks ago, actually, we just got home, but uh, we just had a blast with those guys, so it was like kind of a no-brainer to bring them down there with us, Uh, figured that you guys would uh, enjoy them too, so um, yeah, everybody's just playing really well, they did phenomenal uh, this summer, and uh, we just wanted to bring them down with us, so here we go. Yeah. As we mentioned, man, like it's been a while since you've been to Australia. So, aside from a period of, of inactivity with the band, what else has changed with Mudvayne since last time we saw you? Yeah, not much. You know, I mean, we we weren't a band for ten years, and we started having the conversations, and everybody started being, you know, genuinely excited about it again. Um, we surrounded ourselves with some new people that we're working, that we're doing business with, and they're exciting and they're fun, and, and uh, really helping us embrace, uh, you know, Mudvayne and what we've done. And uh, you know, we're just so excited to be coming to Australia. You know, we we came back, we had those three comeback festivals, and then we did the tour last year with the uh, Zombie. And we just kind of been sitting around, and we just did this this uh, most recent tour, and uh, you know we heard mutterings of Australia, and I was just so excited about it because I love Australia, um, a lot of history down there, and then when we heard it was solidified, we were just like, you know, on a conference call, and everybody was just so excited and so jazzed, and so just so pumped about coming, you know, coming back, man. We all we we all absolutely love Australia. We love we love. Uh, as much as just how beautiful the country is, but the people, like the metal community in Australia is so strong. And, uh, and uh, we're just really excited to get back down there and play for you guys again. You know, you guys are very, very uh, special to us. And uh, I always say, if you're going to release an album somewhere, you better be willing to go play for them. So we release out, we've released albums in Australia, so we got to go down and play for you. That's just the way it goes. That's uh, right. We're excited to do it, man. We're really excited. So, so what, what can fans expect from the 2024 version of Mudvayne Live then, bro? Intensity, man. It was, it's just been, it's been fun, man. We're really, uh, we're feeding off each other. We're feeding off the crowd. There's this awesome energy that goes back and forth between us and our crowd. And uh, it just builds and builds and builds and builds through the whole set. And, just man, it's it's just amazing. So, uh, but yeah, it's intense. Um, it's helpless. It's frenetic. It's crazy. It's got angsty and angry and almost violent. <laughs> and, uh, but it, on the other sense, it's it's sad and it's helpless and it's you know. But then there's a lot, a lot of good feelings in there too. Like metal, it runs the gamut of human emotion you know and that's always been something that we tried to tap into uh, writing our music and uh, it's important to us to bring that um, to our live performance to that just level of emotion that is very true and very real and very honest and very vulnerable now we sort of touched on this a little bit before bro but the band effectively break up in 2010 like I'm not going to ask why because that's no one's business man but what what changed your mind in 2021 to make you try again like what, what were the main things that made you decide Mudvayne needed to be heard again yeah we just 
one that we I, I I don't even know how it happened. Like we ended up being um, like kind of loosely talking or whatever, and emailing like you know one of us or two of us, and then we had a conference call and we all got on the call and we caught up for probably twenty minutes and and we just went down that road, you know, and it's just like. You know, there was just a lot of, like I said, there's just a lot of genuine excitement about coming back to the stand, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, cause I was in hell yeah for the whole 10 year, we, 10 years we weren't a band and, uh, and I had a lot of fun doing that. You know, I really did. And we actually got to come down there and play for you guys. And, uh, um, you know, it was a lot of fun doing it, but there was just something like when Vinny passed, um, uh, there was just there was a void you know in my life and um, uh, it was hard to lose him you know when he when he passed away um, and uh, I just felt like maybe this would kind of fill that void and it did you know I mean um, I think that Benny would be would be proud of me uh, for coming back to this and doing it and uh, you know um, we're just yeah, I'm just I'm excited. I'm just excited to uh, to be doing this again. It was it was it was important to me back then, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of craziness. Uh, wasn't necessarily us uh, when we when we disbanded, and um, we just kind of let it go. Everybody just kind of opened their hands and just let it go, and um, we all did other things. And we just one day it just you know. Uh, became apparent that you know we all want to do this again and I mean it's it's been really really cool from the first time we got back together um, in a rehearsal room and started playing these songs again and it was just like man this is really cool it's really really special and uh, I think a lot of us had, you know I think that we had kind of forgotten uh, about how special it was and uh, but yeah we got together and we started playing the music again and it was just like wow this is this is really exciting and then to start talking about it and to like to start talking about coming back and stuff and just seeing the general excitement uh, within everyone uh, like all of our fans you know we're so excited about us coming back and it's been it's been really cool because I mean you would expect that people would just want us to, you know, just be going, hey, come to our city and play. Hey, come to our city and play. Hey, come to our country and play. Hey, do that. Or, you know what I mean? Just come and play your catalog. But, like, people have legitimately been asking, like, is there new music? Are you guys coming out with new music? Blah, 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 blah. There's been a lot of talk of, from our fans asking us about new music, which is really... Um, flattering to us, you know, because again, people could just say, just come and play your old songs, mm-hmm. you know, but people are saying, we want new music, you know, and that's, it's really exciting and re- really fucking cool. And I think it shows, you know, how special my name really is to a lot of people, you know, so it's, it's, it's cool, man. It's really cool. Damn straight. Well said, brother. So, the, the first show back, mate, like, did you guys hit the stage running or did it sort of take a bit of time to get that, that on stage chemistry back? I mean, I think our chemistry were there, but the, my first time walking back on stage with this band, which is insane, I had COVID. And it was horrible. Like, I could <laughs> even breathe. And I did it. I didn't even know I had it for like three days after. And I, I, wow. I finally I tested. Yeah, I finally tested. And I, yeah, I had it. But, uh, so yeah, that was my first, uh, that thing back and it was not good and it didn't go over well and it was not uh, received well and people, you know, and finally I keep looking at my manager going, can we release a statement at least telling people that I had fucking COVID? <laughs> and, we, and we did and then everybody's like, oh, that's why, because I wasn't great. I mean, I barely breathed. You know? oh, uh... uh but yeah, it was fun. I mean, you know, as fun as it can be, uh, you know, having a respiratory infection. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but uh, yeah, the shows after that were great. Like, you know, and they're getting better and better. I thought we did. I thought we played really well with Zombie last year, but we went out and did it this year, man. It's just, it's, it was a lot of fun, and I think we're playing better than we ever have. So I think Australia is going to see the best mud name 
that they've ever seen, for sure. Shush, yeah. Now, we haven't seen any live footage over here or, or many photos, mate. So, uh, are you guys, like, back playing live with, with the stage makeup on, or are you just going without still? Oh, no, we got it's full, full, full makeup, yeah. I'm fucking crazier than I ever was. <laughs> it's been- it has been a lot. It's been a lot of fun, man. We're really, really embracing what we did back then, and we're, you know, it's a new twist on an old thing, and it's cool, man. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So, go back to the start of Mudvayne, if you can, bro. Like, you, you formed the band in 1996. So, what was the musical climate like back then that gave birth to Mudvayne? And, and I'm guessing you didn't, but where did you fit in back then? I don't even know if we fit in at all, you know what I mean? So, uh, we didn't really kind of get it figured out. Like, we started in 96, so that was with a different bass player, and I don't even think we really got anything started to figure out before, like, 99, and then that's when, you know, you know, wrote, you know, songs like Cradle, and, you know, like, some of the more heavy, uh, esoteric kind of uh, songs that ended up kind of becoming what Mudvayne was, you know, um, like it was a, kind of a slow push into figuring out what the hell we were, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I don't know if through our whole career we ever fully figured out who the hell we were, you know what I mean? We were just always trying to push the boundaries, you know what I mean? We were always trying to push our, not necessarily saying just in all of music, but trying to per- push our personal boundaries and like I said you know our music is very emotional from helpless to angry and violent and and uh that, that, that the whole gamut of emotions in there or whatever so I think it's been kind of my uh always been my want to push that even further like open it up even more um experiment with new things and different different uh vibes and different emotions and things like that so i mean um you know, i'm not sure what like when it started or where it ended you know what i mean we just like we're just kind of kind of just constantly shape-shifting exploring ourselves you know that that's what we did the whole time that we were that we were writing recording new music mm-hmm. it was just pushing the boundaries yeah, <clears throat> you're you're a very strong part of the new metal scene in its formative years too, bro. So, looking back, are you surprised by how far that genre and that scene of music, I guess, has come and, and evolved since then? Dude, it's. I mean, I literally look back at that, and I mean, and I'm not trying to like talk shit about anybody <laughs> or whatever, but like a lot of a lot of new music sounds a lot alike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a, like, um, you know, just, like, one thing kind of runs into the other. There's always, like, some band that's kind of special or whatever. And they're kind of standouts, and they might have, like, ten bands that are kind of on their nuts. You know, they kind of want to be them or whatever. So it kind of creates this thing. But I, like, looking back on that time, you have to think about it. It's like you had um, Slipknot, you had Papa Roach, you had Disturbed, you had Mudvayne, you had Manson, um, fuck, you know, I mean, like, a lot of bands, like a lot of bands, um, and none of them sounded alike at all. Yeah. Like, you know, Slipknot was Slipknot, and Manson was Manson, and fucking Papa Roach was Papa Roach, and Disturbed was Disturbed, and Mudvayne was Mudvayne, and da 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 you know what I mean? Like, you, you start, and I mean, I can name many, many more, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, it's just crazy. Like, that's, that's what made that, uh, that's what made that style of music so special. Yeah. It's because everybody was doing their thing, you know what I mean? And, and everybody that was doing their own thing from album to album to album was evolving in and of themselves, which kind of, made the whole genre of new metal uh, grow you know so um, like each band was pushing I think kind of doing what we were doing kind of pushing our limits they were pushing their limits and and, and the whole thing just kind of naturally um, 
grows and as it grows it just becomes more special um but um yeah looking back on it it was just like we all were kind of doing our own thing you know we were a little more progressive uh and experimental um you know and uh something that was fucking flipping out you know just heavy as fucking shit you know and um you know, all the all the, those bands I mentioned. I mean, everybody just did their own thing. It was really, really cool. It was a cool. It was a cool thing to be a part of when it was happening, and it's a cool thing to be a part of now. That it's really like a lot of people are recognizing it as being like a big movement in music, which I always thought it was. I always felt like it was. And you know, back when everybody was calling it new metal, we all kind of scoffed at that, like this new metal. <laughs> Yeah, you know, sure. You, you know, you feel like that. Yeah, you feel like that you're bigger than whatever the fuck they're saying it is. You know, and uh, but now looking back on it, I'm I'm proud to have been a part of it. You know what I mean? And uh, it's 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 cool that it's getting it's getting the love it's getting now. Mm-hmm. You know, because it was really really special time in music. Now it really was. Damn straight it was, brother. Now we, we touched on this a little bit before, mate. But you released your last self titled album back in 2009, so. Have you had the talks or are there plans to record new music or are you sort of focusing more on touring for now? Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of our thing right now. We've we started putting some new stuff together a little bit and like people that have heard the kind of demo stuff are really excited about it. Like, I think a lot of, like, only the people that are closest to us have heard anything and it's, like I said, again, it's really rough. It's demos, but you can tell it's special, you know, and I think that you just have to, we have to make sure it's my thing. You know what I mean? We have to make sure um, that it's what we want. Um, and, you know, so we'll just have to see, you know, um, we were working on it, working on it, working on it a little bit, you know, here and there. And we're, we all live states away from each other. Nobody yeah. lives even close to each other. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult, but we were able to get some stuff demoed up or whatever, but, um, with us being so far apart, it's a little slow going. And then we just kind of, we just hit a wall. Like we're like, okay, we gotta get back into touring, you know? So, uh, we put everything together and we went back out this summer. Um, you know, this, we'll see what this fall brings. Like, I'm sure, you know, we, we all just got home. Uh, so we're still kind of decompressing. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good now. Um, you know, so, you know, we just put everything on hold and, yeah. and uh, we just wanted to focus on touring. But now that we're done with it, you know, um, as everybody starts raising their head out of the sand, <laughs> you know, um, hopefully, hopefully we can get together and do something. I don't know, maybe we'll have something new by the time we come down there and see you. We'll see. Very good. All right, before we let you go, brother, we've started up three new Spotify playlists based on artists that we speak to, mate. So using songs from you, so it could be from Mudvayne, it could be from Hell Yeah, just songs from bands that you've been in. Can you give us a song for a playlist to get the party started? One for a playlist to save your marriage and one for a playlist that could potentially end your marriage? <laughs> um, save your marriage, Jesus. I don't even know. Um... <laughs> I don't know, world's so cold, I mean, I don't know, and Andrew Mayer's probably be like nothing again or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. The people seem to love world's so cold, but people also seem to like the psycho side of nothing again, so go with those. So I wanted to get the party started. I wanted to get the party started? Dig. Dig, and that's exactly what I would have said, brother. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks very much for your time, Drake Chad. Dull boy. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Thank you very much. No, I can't it. wait to see you, mate. The excitement is massive over here, bro. So thanks for uh, thanks for remembering us over here, brother. And we'll catch up with you next year. Can't wait to get down there. Thank you so much. No worries, my friend. You take care, brother.